In this video clip, we will learn some basic features of the statistical analysis software SPSS. To open a data file, go to the file tab and from the drop down menu select open. Here there are two options available, data and output. By clicking on data, we can open the data set that we want to analyze and by clicking on output, we can open the output that we saved from our previous analysis. To open a data set, we click on data and a window pops up. By default, SPSS looks for a file which is saved in .sav format. Since we have not saved our data set in the .sav format yet, we are not able to see any file here. However, SPSS also allows us to bring in or export data sets saved in some other file format into its um, uh, interface. So the other options available are Excel, .dbf, text, SAS, or Stata. For the purpose of this um, video clip, I saved the data file or the data set in an Excel spreadsheet. So I click on Excel and we see the data file here. To open this, I click on the name of the file and then click on op open. And uh, another window pops up here. Um, this option worksheet allows us to select the worksheet in the spreadsheet where we saved the data set. We may have multiple data sets saved on um, different worksheets. Let's say that we had four data sets and we saved all these four data sets in, on four different worksheets, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and sheet four. So when we open that spreadsheet, and we click on this drop down menu next to worksheet we'll be able to see all those four sheets worksheets on which we saved four different data sets since in this uh, spreadsheet uh, I saved my data set on sheet one only and the other sheets were empty we are not able to see other options or the name of the other sheets so we click on sheet one and then click on OK and the um, data set will open in a second. So here we see that there are two views available. One is the data view and another is the uh, variable view. In the data view we are able to see our entire data set, all our variables and all our data points. We can even uh, double click on a cell and edit a data point if needs, if we want to or if we need to change or edit any particular data point on in the and in the variable view this view allows us to define properties of a variable um, in the name option we can define the name of a variable we can even change the name of uh, name of a variable that was predefined by double double clicking on this cell type allows us to define type for a variable sp by default SPSS uh, saves all the numeric data sets, all, all the uh, data points that had numbers that were saved in number as numeric, whereas all the variables that were defined in a text format are defined type string here. When we, let's go back to the data view and see that median type and land use, these two variables had data points defined in the text format, set, therefore by default SPSS assigned these two variables, median type and land use, the type string. However, there are several other options available. We can define the type dot or comma or scientific notation or dollar or any other from this set of selection. Um, width allows us to define the numbers of characters for a variable. Decimal allows us to define the number of decimal points that we want to have for a numeric data set or for a, for, a vari, uh, for a variable with numeric data. Label allows us to define the label for our variable or, uh, ex or, ex or define a variable into more detail. So let's say that we want to label this speed data as the speed of vehicles collected in field 
and we want to label PSL as posted speed limit lane width as width of lanes on which speed data was collected so now we if we go back to the data view and put other cursor on speed data then we are able to see the label here it shows us what how we label this particular variable so PSL is posted speed limit lane width is actually width of lanes now we go back to the variable view values now here what SPSS allows us to do is for example in PSL we have three different values or we have three different categories so for a categorical variable we may have numbers of categories and we want to assign each category a number um, for example let's say in posted speed limit all the category we want to assign category 35 or the speed limit 35 as label 1 we want to label it as 1 so we add here 1 and then we want to label category 40 as 2 we add 2 here and we want to label category 45 as 3 we add this as well and we hit ok so that is how it is defined in the value and then we go back to data view and we see that all those um, the category um, that has posted a speed limit as 35 is defined as with one with label one the category 45 uh, category with the speed limit 45 that has been changed to value 3 missing value it shows us that how many data points are missing from a particular variable since in our in the case of our data set no value is missing from the from for any of the variables so it show, it's showing none here align it shows that how our data set how, how our data points are aligned in a particular column so for num all the numeric values SPSS align aligns those numeric values to the right of a column then all string values or all the data points or uh, that are uh, the variable that has data points defined in a text format are aligned to the left of a column we can change the alignment alignment of our data set by either by clicking on left right or center major now this is an important concept it allows us to define how we measure our variable or the data data points in our variable there are two options three options available scale ordinal and nominal all the numeric data points or all those data points which are continuous and which are not categorical are measured as a scale all the categorical variables they are either measured as ordinal or they are measured as nominal in case of posted speed limit now we collected the speed data set on roadways that had different on different roadways that had different posted speed limits some roadways had the speed limit of 35 miles per hour some roadways had speed limit of 40 miles per hour and some roadways had speed limit of 45 miles per hour each roadway is a certain category and there is a logical order in it so 40 mile per hour speed limit is greater than 35 mile per hour speed limit and likewise 45 mile per hour speed limit is greater than 40 mile per hour speed limit Post, so posted speed limit can be defined as a categorical variable that has a logical order in it so we define posted speed limit as a categorical variable which is an ordinal categorical variable that is a categorical variable that has a logical order in it lane width we define it as a scale since it's a continuous uh, this variable has a continuous data set uh, data points median type now we um, by default SPSS defines type nominal or measurement nominal for a categorical variable that is defined in a string format median type and land uses we define these two variables in category in, in, in the text format so one is SPSS considers the, these two variables 
or the data in these two variables as, as, uh, in, as dif having different categories and then defines a measurement nominal for it. So nominal again is a categorical variable but it does not have any logical order. So we keep measurement for median type as nominal for now and then we define scale for median width, scale for axis density, scale for segment length and then we keep nominal for land use. So in this window, the variable view, we can define the properties for our variable. Now we go back to data view and then we save our file in .sav format. So let's, let's name it as data, speed data. And then save it. And now this file is saved in .sav format. We can also insert a variable in our um, in our data set. So that is we can do that either by clicking right on any column and then by when we click right we see uh, we, we see a drop down menu here and then if we click on insert variable a variable is inserted between segment length and land use or we can go to the edit tab and from the drop down menu select insert variable so these are the two different options that we have for inserting a variable in our data set now we want to define the properties for this particular variable that we just inserted we go back to variable view we double click here and we let's say we define the name of this variable as number of lanes it's a numeric type. We don't want to have any decimal points for it because it's an integer. The number of lanes can be either 2, 3, or 4, or any integer, but a, having a decimal point with it. And then we label it as number of lanes. And we don't want to measure it as a scale. Rather, we want to measure it as a categorical variable that has a logical order in it. Either there are two, number of lanes is two, or there are three, or there are four. And again, two is greater, three is greater than two, and four is greater than two. These are different categories that has certain logical order in it. Then we go back to data view. Now we want to insert some values in this variable. Let's suppose that all these data points from one to 15 were collected on our roadway segment that had number of lanes as 2. So we put input or add 2 here. Now we do not need to insert 2 or add 2 uh, time and again for each row. Rather what we can do is we select this 2, right click and then copy and then select rows from 2 to 15. Click anywhere on this selected, on these selected rows and then right click and paste. So 2 is copied from 2 to 15. And then let's say that the road base for which on which we collected data, which is saved in uh, from row 16 to 25, the number of lanes were 3. So we add 3 here again. We right click, copy, and then we select all these rows, that is from 17 to 25 and then right click here again and paste. So we learned how to add a variable, how to define properties of a variable and how to add data into variable. We can also set uh, sort our data set based on a particular variable and that we can do using two different options. Either let's suppose that we want to sort out our data set based on posted speed limit. So we right click on this variable on this column posted speed limit and say that we want to uh, sort our data set in a descending order based on posted speed limit. So we click on sort descending. So now our data set it has been sorted out based on posted speed limit in a descending order. We can also do that by going to the data tab and then selecting sort cases and let's say we want to now sort out our data based on lane width in an ascending order so this is 
already selected we click on